Welcome to our Five on Five. We're talking about locally produced feature length documentary Illegal with the businessman behind the project, Laz Ayala, and the filmmaker Nick Alexander. Gentlemen, thanks for being here. Happy to be here again. Yeah. Yeah, it's, so <laughs> it's, it's 2020. It was 2018 when we first started talking about this project to give you guys some right. perspective. It was the end of 2018, but that's okay. Laz, this is your story, uh, but also it's, it's so much more. As a former undocumented immigrant and now naturalized citizen, the story couldn't be more personal for you. The film is done. What was it like to create it? Well, you know, the, uh, the project uh, started with attempting to humanize the conversation around immigrants and immigration through my story. Um, I didn't think uh, three years ago I would be finishing a documentary, uh, but uh, as you mentioned, uh, uh, end of 2018, we embarked on this project and, uh, and it has now been completed, submitted to uh, over 150 film festivals around the country. Ooh and uh, accepted to uh, a handful of those festivals. We've heard from about 14 film festivals so far and uh, have accepted uh, or have been accepted at four of them. And uh, so we expect that, uh, that this is the beginning of something uh, big. Uh, it is very exciting. It's, uh, you know, the most thrilling part about this for me is, is, uh, is, is, is the, the goal of the whole film project. That is to give a voice to those that don't have a voice to uh, shed some light on myths and maths, uh, uh, myths and facts around the topic of immigration, mm -hmm. and uh, and to humanize the conversation. And so I'm very excited about taking uh, the the stories that we have featured in the film, my story, and uh, of course some of the uh, perspectives that we share in the film uh, to the world, to the entire country, and to hopefully uh, have a voice in the in the national conversation. Yeah, and and submitting to so many film festivals, you're definitely going to be a part of that. That's, that's fantastic to, to live out your dream like this. Nick, what, what is that like for you to be, I mean, we'll get right to it, the ninth annual Winter Film Awards International Film Festival in New York City, you know, and, and I guess there's other ones as well you guys have been accepted to already. Yeah, it was, it was really surprising news. Last, um, last month, right before Christmas, I was cooking dinner and I glanced at my phone and I, I nearly fainted. I was so excited to see <laughs> this email that we were going to New York City. I was, I was just in disbelief. Um, we really believe that we would be premiering locally here in Ashland, which would be a fantastic way to begin. However, when we received word that we're going to New York City, I told Laz, there is no better way that we can begin the film festival circuit premiering in New York City. It was a, for me, it was a dream that I never dreamt. <laughs> yeah. I really didn't think it was, you know, impossible for our project to begin in New York City. So I'm, I'm just uh, super thrilled thankful for the opportunity and I believe this movie is is going to go far. That's that's fantastic. Congratulations. We're going to take a quick break. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're talking about the uh, feature length documentary Illegal uh, put together by a uh, businessman, local businessman, Laz Ayala and filmmaker Nick Alexander. Nick, we're talking about this being your first full length film. Got to be, got to imagine that this was a massive project. How hard was it for you? Yes, it definitely was massive. Uh, it was um, everything and much more than I ever anticipated for a feature film. For me, I was just so thankful that Laz chose me to make the film. And as most people would say, you don't, you don't really know what you're getting yourself into. And so we shot the film over a year ago. We, I didn't actually begin editing until last spring. The summer months of 2019 were some of the most <laughs> intense months of my life. Laz and I, week after week, we were cutting through uh, the movie. There was a lot of hard work, uh, sleepless nights for me, where I had to put myself in Laz's shoes and say, okay, this is Laz's story, and how can I best tell it? Mm -hmm. And the story of many other immigrants. So for me, I think the editing process was bound to be difficult, um, challenging, but Together, we uh, spent a lot of time uh, checking out footage, uh, making cuts, and so I feel like that was definitely the most challenging, but it was also the most rewarding because there were some moments where, I mean, we would just jump up and down because we knew yeah. we have so a movie. Yeah, you knew that's, that's going yeah. in there. Yeah. That's, that's a great feeling. And, yeah. and last, so we're, we're talking about, you guys are already going to New York City for, for a film festival in, in mid-February. Mid um, AIFF, what's, what's the potential for that? Are we gonna see your film here locally? We certainly hope so, and uh, we have uh, high expectations that uh, the film will be featured in Ashland. 
Um, we uh, will not uh, know uh, until mid-February. That's when uh, Ashland announces um, their uh, uh, films. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking forward to, to that, uh, that date and, uh, and hoping very much to uh, be able to share the, the film with the community here. Yeah, because right now it hasn't been shown locally and there's no announcements to be made yet. I, I'm trying, people, or not. <laughs> or, so it's, it's something people are going to have to stay tuned for where they can see it. Exactly. Okay, congratulations. Thank it's you very, very exciting. much. Appreciate it. Congratulations. It's a pleasure. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back. All right.